this video I will show you how to access vamp server from your mobile device whether it is android or iphone or a tablet whatever it may be even from another computer also you can access this okay but all the devices should be connected in the same wi-fi or local network so without doing any delay let's see the procedure first i will start the vamp server So VAMP server is still starting, it is showing as red here so we have to wait until it turns to green color in the system tray. Ok it just turned into orange, ok now the VAMP has started successfully because the icon is in green color. So what we will do is first open the chrome browser, any browser in our, in our computer and open localhost. Okay. Local. Actually, before localhost, there will be HTTP. Without that, it, it won't open. I mean, like this, you have to enter HTTP localhost and enter. Sorry, localhost. HTTP local host okay so this so by this we can see that vamp server is successfully started and running without any issues now i will show my uh, mobile screen now okay this is my mobile screen which i am mirroring okay now just open the chrome here here what we have to do is we will try with the localhost same thing http localhost and we will go ahead you can see it is showing the site can't be reached actually we, ca we should not enter localhost in the other devices for that what we have to do is we have to open command prompt by entering cmd okay inside the command prompt enter ip config okay and press enter here we will get our uh, ipv4 address sorry okay here we will get ipv4 address my ipv4 address is uh, 192 dot 168 dot 29 dot dot 100 so like this we have to open the vamp server but see still it is showing that forbidden you, you don't have permission to access this resource okay so this is the thing happening and one more thing make sure that our your device and computer both are running on same network okay after this what you have to do is you have to go to system tray left click on the vamp icon go to apache then click on httpd vhost.cnf ok here there is require local is there ok change this to require all granted grants okay actually it is granted okay then click on file click on save okay after this just close it now we have to go to control panel
control panel then go to system and security then go to windows defender firewall next go to advanced settings so now here we have to create two rules that is one inbound rule and one outbound outbound rule for that we just click on inbound rules first in then click on new rule so after clicking on the new rule we will get a window like this select a port here then click on next then enter 80 here okay then click on next then click on next then click on next and name it as vamp inbound rule okay then click on finish so our inbound rule has been created next click on outbound rules now click on new rule Okay. after clicking on the new rule we will get a window like this select port click on next enter 80 here then click on next then click on allow connection click on next click on next vamp name it as vamp outbound rule okay outbound rule you can name anything okay so we have created one inbound rule and one outbound rule here it is inbound rule is there so allow the connection make sure that it is entered as allow the connection and out outbound rule also select and make sure that it is allow the connection has been selected okay then click on okay now we can close this we can close this also so now in our android device or in any other laptop or tablet or iPhone you in open a browser and again open the command prompt so if this window has closed if it is there you can just enter the IPv4 address what is showing here if you forgot or somehow you close the window just enter IP config and click enter so it will show the IPv4 address here so enter the same thing whatever it is showing 192 so don't enter 192.168.29.100 because it is, is my ipv4 address you have to enter whatever the ipv4 address it is showing on your command prompt then press enter but still it is not opening because we have to restart the vamp server for that just click on vamp server left click on it and select restart all services and wait for vamp server to restart it may take a few seconds to minutes depending on the hardware configuration one more thing i want to tell you if you want to install wordpress in your xamp or vamp servers i have made a video on that and you have the link in the description of this video please check it out and do watch it if you want to set up wordpress in your vamp server okay now vamp has turned to orange color so we will wait until it turns to green color okay now our vamp server has started successfully you can see the green color here so what we will do we will go to the laptop browser and we will refresh the, the home page of the vamp server so it is working fine so now what we will do we will go to our android phone and enter the same IP address which is shown here so now you can see the VAMP server is loaded in Android phone also 
for better visibility you can select the desktop site here so that it looks clearly okay so this is how we can access our vamp server from any device and access locally and all the devices should be connected in the same Wi-Fi network or a local network thank you very much for watching my video till the end I truly appreciate if you subscribe to my channel like and share my videos this is Karthik signing off Thank you.